This is the Bowmaker PA01. It's a 500 watt surround sound stereo speaker system. It's very portable. It has an internal rechargeable battery. It has high immersive stereo sound and it's so portable. Now I'm gonna cover all of the accessories that come with this, how it sounds, all of the specs. But the one thing I really like about it is the portability of using this wherever you like. It only weighs five kilograms. As you can see, I can pick it up with one hand very easily. Speaking of the portability, the fact that it has a very nice grip handle here which is fixed you can also carry this like a suitcase so it has a two height adjustable handle like you do with all of your suitcases and then it has two wheels at the bottom there so let's go ahead and see all of the accessories the functionality and let's give it a sound test right so you have a microphone that comes with it the lead on the microphone is 2.3 meters so it's not the longest but it gives you a very good distance anyway to be not so close to the speaker you also have a auxiliary cable to connect this directly to a phone, a speaker or a TV. You also have a remote control and then you also have a DC adapter. So if you want to use this connected via the outlet, then you can just connect this and it will also recharge the internal battery. Otherwise you can just use it without this plug and just run off of the battery. If you do decide to use this on the battery, it has a 2200 milliamp battery inbuilt into it. In perspective, that depends on your usage. So you can get 11 hours of playback time if you have the volume on around 30%, so quite low. But if you have the volume at its maximum level, then you can still get five hours, which is more than enough to have an event or even a concert or whatever you like. It's just the perfect thing to have. Now there's five ways you can connect to the speaker. The first one is with Bluetooth. So it has Bluetooth 5.0, which is probably the way I'm going to use it. It has an auxiliary input. So if you wanna to connect to multiple devices, like I mentioned, you can do that. It also has a guitar input. So if you're a guitarist and you have one, you can connect it directly to this play off of the speaker. It also has a USB port. So if you have a USB stick with some music files or anything like that, connect it to the USB port and just play off of that. And finally, you have FM radio. So if you just want to listen to some music off the radio, scan for your channel and just play it back like that. Now inside the box, you have a three inch tweeter, which is a treble speaker. Then you have a massive eight inch subwoofer, which gives you a high quality bass. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the speaker and see some of the knobs and controls. So this is the USB port to put your USB stick in. You can also reverse charge your devices with the USB charge port there. This is where you have the auxiliary, the mic input, guitar input, and this is your DC adapter. Now it does have a DC adapter that comes in the box with this, but you can also buy an external one. This is universal. And if you want to take this on the road, then you can also get a 12 volt car outlet DC adapter as well. So you can have this in your car or your van, wherever you're going, connect it to your car and keep it charged at all times. So as it power on the device, just hold down the power button for a few seconds. The EQ source button, this is where you'll be able to change the mode. So between Bluetooth or auxiliary or FM radio, etc., you'll be able to do that. When you press scan, if you are on FM radio, this will scan the best radio channels and will display it on the LED display there. If you wanted to skip a radio station, you can go forwards and backwards with these M buttons here. Now plus 10 and minus 10, if you wanted to skip maybe 10 stations, because there is a lot of amount of frequency stations on this, then you just hold it down for a few seconds and you can go 10 stations back or 10 stations forward. If you wanted to connect it via Bluetooth, just hold down the pairing button. It will go into pairing mode on your phone or your Bluetooth device. Just look for Lark PA01. It will turn up and then just select that. It will automatically be paired. Then you have these knobs here. Now these are very nice twist knobs. You have the volume for the main speaker system. You can control the treble and the bass. This is the microphone volume. So once you do connect the microphone in the input there, that volume will become redundant and this volume will take over. This is the guitar volume. So you can adjust that if you've connected it to the guitar input, every other knob will be disabled in terms of volume and only that one will be available. And this is to adjust the echo levels if you wanted to add an echo to it. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Power on. AUX. So it's currently on the auxiliary input. If I select source, just hold it down for a few seconds. FM radio. It's FM radio. Bluetooth. Now it's on Bluetooth. 
So you can see the battery percentage there at the moment is fully charged. So I will have plenty of battery life to take this with me. So let's take a look at the remote control because I might not be close to the speaker at all times when I'm using it. So you can use this remotely. So this is the remote control. You can see you have all of the sources there along the top. These are the different equalizer preset modes. So depending on whether you're indoors or outdoors, which is the in and out, you can set this to have it on music mode or party mode. Party mode obviously giving you a little bit more of a punchy bass. And depending on whether you're indoors and outdoors, it will adjust the volume and the output accordingly. So that's a very convenient thing to have. Of course, you have the general controls there. So you can adjust the treble, the bass and the echo yourself manually. You can also adjust the volume of the guitar and the volume of the microphone. Scan for your FM radio channels. And then this is unique. If you maybe connect this to Bluetooth and use Spotify, you can shuffle, play or repeat songs using this button. So very straightforward, easy to use. So let's go ahead now and test the audio starting off with the microphone. So I currently have this on volume 10, but it goes up to a maximum of volume 30. So the microphone is connected. I've turned it on. You have an on and off switch for the microphone as well. So if you just want to make sure you don't speak into the system, you can manually turn it off from here. Turn it on. Hello, this is testing the microphone. Now I think it's a little bit too low, so I'm going to put it on to volume 20 and then I'll go to volume 30. So this is volume 20. I think it's quite loud. I need to be a little bit closer to the microphone so you guys can hear the PA system. If you're in an event hall, this is perfect for that. Whatever it may be, you can use it for weddings, etc., etc. Now let's go and put it to volume 30. So this is the max volume. Wow, that is quite loud. I reckon the range of this would be at least 100 meters, especially in an indoor venue. So it is quite powerful. If I keep my volume a little bit away from the microphone, it doesn't come too loud, so I need to be a little bit closer. Just like this. So that's the microphone. I think it does a great job. Let's go ahead, connect it back to my Bluetooth and play some music on it. So I have it connected, so I won't go too loud not to disturb a lot of people, but let's go ahead and play some music back. Now that was only at volume 3, so let's go ahead and put it to volume 10, 20 and see if we can put it very loud. So this is volume 10. Finally, let's just try 20, because I think 30 is going to be a little bit too loud. That is so good, it's so punchy, it's very loud, the bass in it is amazing. The adjustments on the equalizer that you can make yourself gives you the best type of audio that you need for whatever purpose you're going to use this for. So I'm very impressed with this and it is an excellent purchase. And to be honest guys, whatever purpose you're going to be buying this for, whether you want to use it as a speaker system, a PA system, I may even use this in my home gym as well, just to play some music in the background while I'm training, multiple different purposes with it, you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get an excellent buy from this. So this comes in at 150 pounds on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check it out. In the meantime, if you guys have any other questions, drop them down below to me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you like this video and you want to see some more really cool tech gadget videos in the future, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.